Okay, so part one we looked at using the whip at distance, cracking it. Part two we talked about sort of holding it mid-range for some of those sort of stick type combinations, deflecting things, and uh, we want to talk today about getting in real close, so that third range where I'm actually able to touch my opponent. That again is why the handle here has that steel bolt in it, so I can grip it when I'm going to do battle outside of my arm or inside, depends on what you're trying to do. Either way, I've got that right there to strike with. So when I have an opponent, and we've already closed all those distances, and I'm in tight now, whether he rushed or I rushed or whatever, I can strike collarbone, I can strike temple, I can strike with a hammer fist this way, into the jawline, any of those sensitive places that you would normally be striking anyway, or elbowing, I can land this. So I don't have to change my techniques at all. That's the goal here. I don't want to start doing anything different than I would do if I didn't have this, for the most part. Um, so I can still punch, and then I can hammer fist and just add that to it. Um, I tend to keep it tight here, because I can then use it to loop. Sometimes I'll keep it on the outside if I still expect to be whipping it a little bit. Um, I've seen some instructors that I've handed this whip to, and the first thing they did was grip it and start wrapping. Because they didn't want that in their way. They wanted to be able to do this. Depends on what you like and your style, what's going to work for you. But when we get in close, I have the option, of course, strike, strike, and then I can come in here and strike. Especially if I'm clinched. Clinched in tight, you can't see it coming. I've got those kinds of hammer fist options as well. But again, a lot of this comes from grappling in jiu-jitsu. That's the goal here. And this is meant to replace a gi in terms of any kind of choking and gripping type uh, scenarios. So since my opponent's not wearing a gi for me to choke him with, I'm going to use this. That means when I come in here, it might be one, two, wrap. Now this particular grip right here, it's an easy one to get. Bang, bang, wrap around. I'm gonna use this less for choking and more for throws. I can turn immediately, turn that into a hip throw, or if I prefer trips, I've got the trip there as well, or I can simply pull them in for my knees. So once I've got that behind the head control, it's kind of like that tie clinch, but with a bit more distance to move around with. So I can go one, two, wrap, pull them in for knees, and then <clears throat> pull them in for headbutts if that's my style. Probably not for myself. Um, but if I wanted to use traditional jujitsu style chokes, then that's where I might instead go for something like this, where I'm actually backhanding towards the opponent to wrap it around. So I can grip this way and get that more traditional crossover gi choke. From there, I still got the option to pull him in and manipulate his position and bring him down. But I also have the, the choke if I just want to finish it that way. One of my personal favorite chokes is the baseball bat choke when you're using this grip on an opponent. With a gi, I would reach up here and then be able to reach with my other hand to that gi and get my grip this way. If I'm using the clinch, I can go to the no gi baseball grip attack. But since I have this with me, what I'm gonna end up doing a lot of times for that is I can go punch, punch, grip here. Like, not here, I do it on my way in. Grip, bang, and snap that down. At that point, I have it. I mean, I could just bury that and finish right here, or again, I can turn that into different throws and trips, but never let my grip go. I have that grip the whole time, and I can bring them to the ground and finish them with that choke uh, right from the start. So if I'm just using it for control, or if I'm using it for the choke, it's still gonna work either way. So you're gonna end up experimenting in your style and the chokes that you like to use, whether you prefer 
um, those gi chokes or the baseball choke or whatever it is that you like to do, experiment a little bit and find how you would get to the grip that you prefer the best because it's what you do well already that you want to play on. You don't want to invent new stuff that you've got to start thinking about in the moment. You want to use techniques that you're already familiar with, you already know work 100%. So again, baseball bat's one of my favorites. Bang, bang, grip. And I've got that to pull them in just like a tie clinch. I can throw my knees or I can just finish my choke. So I'll leave you with that right now. It's already a long enough video, but that's the goal is use what you know and start bringing in those chokes and things that you're familiar with and that are part of your style already and just see how this adapts to them rather than you changing your style and adapting to the whip.